Welcome to Everlasting Talk. Hello, welcome to Everlasting Talk. I'm your host, Ever. Today in biography series, we're talking about William Lyon Phelps. Before we get started, make sure to go to the link below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, X, YouTube. Check out Spotify. Check out some merch on Spring, Blogger, Twitch, Kick, and more. Thank you so much. Let's get started. William Lyon Phelps was an influential American educator, literacy critic, and author. Phelps' passion for literature and his dedication left an impact on both academic and public spheres. Born on January 2nd, 1865 in New Haven, Connecticut, grew up in an environment that helped fuel his love for literature from an early age. Phelps' early years he attended local schools before enrolling at Yale and graduated in 1887. During his time at Yale, Phelps excelled in his studies and developed a lifelong passion for English literature, among other things as well. He continued his academic journey, eventually attending Harvard, and got his PhD in 1891, so lesson Four years later, he got his Ph.D. His rise, what well, I consider his rise in his infamy or his fame or his history, is when he became an instructor of English at Yale in 1892, so just a year later after graduating from Harvard. He quickly gained a reputation as a dynamic and engagement, engaged literary literature lecturer, sorry. His influence grew through his public works, which included literacy criticism, essays, and lectures. During this time, he would get married to his now wife, Annabelle, on December 21st, 1892. Unfortunately, they never had children. They were a childless couple, but uh, I guess, you know, I don't know what happened there, but he eventually became Lampoon professor of English literature at Yale in 1901, a position he, he would hold until 1933, where he would retire in 1933. So he held that for almost, what, almost 30 years, 32 years. Uh, his book, Essays, um, Essays of a Modern Normality, sorry, I can't say that one, uh, from 1916, would further his reputation. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. Oh, Essays of Mo on Modern Novelists was from 1910. Sorry about that. Uh, after his retirement, he remained an active writer and public speaker. His love for literature with a broad audience uh, he gained through a radio broadcast and public lectures. Unfortunately, on December, on August 21st, 1943, Phelps would pass away at his home uh, in New Haven, Connecticut. So he lived and died in New Haven, Connecticut. His legacy is one of inspiration and dedication to the power of literature. His ability to talk to people and his advocacy to help modernize contemporary literature left a mark in academic circles. His passion for teaching and his belief in the importance of a of an understanding of the human experience continue to resonate with educators and literacy enthusiasts today. Uh, some sources you guys should check out, or some books, some uh, audio things you check out. Um, one of obviously the one I mentioned earlier was the essays on modern novelists by William Lyman Phelps, which is a collection of literacy criticism. Also, check out another book by him called the Human Nature and the Bible, which is an analysis of biblical literature. Uh, he did a memoir, which is an autobiography of himself called The Autobiography with Letters. Uh, this documentary called William Lyon Phelps, The Life and uh, Legacy of a Teacher. Uh, there's some other ones as well. Let me uh, let me see here. Because he, he wrote a lot of works. Uh, let's see. He also did essays on my, on Russian novelists in 1911, essays on books 1914. Um, he did other ones as well as uh, As I Like It, um, essays on things from 1930, what I what I like, 
1933, Marriage, 1940, A Private Library as well. So he did so many different works. But yeah, uh, that's the life of William Lyon Phelps, uh, a great influential American educator, uh, author, uh, you know, lecturer. Uh, definitely check that out. And the next episode, we're going to switch gears. We're going, we're going to go into the world of crime. Next episode, we're talking about Pablo Escobar. Um, if you don't know about him, uh, it'd be great to, for you to check us out in the next episode. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and share on all your social medias, wherever you guys are listening to me from. Um, you know, get your merch on Spring. I would definitely appreciate it. Eventually, I might get a Buy Me a Coffee or Patreon. I want to do more videos. I want to do more things. I want to do more content, other kind of things like battles and wars um you know i you know i do shorts on those stuff now on youtube but i'm trying to go into other you know ventures and try to do interviews and things like that too so yeah i got thank you guys so much and i'll see you at the next one bye thank you for listening to this episode of everlasting talk for more contact follow us on twitch twitter youtube and instagram at Everlasting Talk. Thank you.